wow, look at the caution on here. The caution. Avoid contact with eyes, not for consumption. Who is eating this stuff? Keep out of direct sunlight. Rinse with sufficient water to prevent hair loss or hair discoloration. Okay, so I'm not scared to use this product right about now. Wow. channel thanks so much for tuning in for another video today's video I am going to be doing a at-home DIY slash a product review this is a product I purchased from Walmart I was just by happenstance just walking by and the product junkie in me something just alerted me and say buy me buy me <laughs> so I got this um, at-home DIY um, this is from the Lindsay home aesthetics it's called Bye Bye Tangles and Knots. This is a self-heating steam hair mask. And the product claim says it's supposed to reconstruct, seal, protect, and revitalize your hair. This is a two-step hair treatment. The first step is a cream serum. This is infused with shea butter, argan oil, and natural keratins. It's for natural, color-treated, and heat-styled hair. And it has no parabens, no sulfates, no protrolatum, and no phthalates. So I picked up this product. I was intrigued to see how it works, if it really works, and how it works on natural hair. Um, this is supposed to be a 15-minute treatment, so it says on here. So it says, after shampooing, gently remove excess moisture from your hair, and then you'll apply the cream evenly to your hair. And then you're going to cover it with a cap and ensure that the hair cap is snug around your head by adjusting the... Hmm, the sticker on the hair, okay, I can't read. The sticker on the hair cap for best fit. And where they got this printed is in like the worst part. It's like right in the crease of this. And you'll just leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse with lukewarm water. And you'll do this two times a week for badly damaged hair. So I picked up this product without checking the ingredients, which is mistake number one, because I'm looking at the ingredients for the first time on this packet. And you can pause the screen right here if you wanna read these ingredients. And I can see the very first thing that stands out to me is the isopropyl alcohol, which is extremely drying. And I don't know why this is in a deep conditioner. It has multiple silicones <laughs> in here. Um, Oh gosh, I'm going to try it for you guys. I'm going to try it because I bought it and I know somebody will probably see this in Walmart and wonder if it works, um, how it makes the hair feel, does it work on natural hair. So I will be the guinea pig to give this product a try. My hair is already washed. As a matter of fact, shampoo is in my hair. <laughs> it just dried. So I have shampoo in my hair. I'm going to rinse this out and then we're going to start the process of this um, this self-heating steam hair mask uh, made in South Korea. Mm. Do not expose to extreme temperatures. One time use only. Discontinue use and consult a doctor if rash, swelling, itching or other. And misspelled the word other. Wow, O-H-T-E-R, medical issues develop, wow, wow, yep, wow, okay, yeah, um, let's go ahead and get started. So the shampoo is rinsed out of my hair. So I guess I'll cut down the center because I don't know how to open this thing. So this side is the cream and this one is the self-heating cap. So let's see what it even looks like. Okay, so this is the cap. And this is the tape to adjust it to make it tighter or looser. This look like it's about to go all kinds of left and no right. Mm, this smells decent. Can't expect too much. 
And this is the cream inside of it. Hope y'all can see that. It's got a very smooth, I mean, very silky smooth consistency. So it seems to absorb my hair really good. My hair feels nice and soft, at least. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put the self-heating cap on my head. So it's been 10 minutes, and um, to be quite honest, I did not get any more heat on my hair, on my scalp, than I would if I had just put a regular shower cap on my head and just got the heat from my own scalp. This was a bad idea. Definitely a bad idea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Won't be doing this no more. For some reason, I feel like my hair is going to just combust into flames <laughs> at any moment. <laughs> I don't really feel no heat for real, um, but I am going to quickly wash this stuff out of my hair and throw this away because, I don't know, this thing just scares me. So I just styled my hair off camera, as you can see. I didn't want to take up a bunch of camera time. So these are my thoughts of this product. So one, I will not be repurchasing this again for the simple fact of the ingredients. The ingredients is what really got me. Um, even though it says no parabens and sulfates, all of the other stuff that's in here, in particular the um, isopropyl alcohol, is an absolute no-no. If I see that ingredient in any conditioning type of a, a product, no, it, it's a no-go. The fact that they misspell words <laughs> on the on the packaging was another red flag. This may work good for someone else, but as far as a natural hair person such as myself. On my kinky curly hair, if you were to ask me, I would say, no girl, find something else because this is not going to work for your hair. But that's just my personal opinion. Now, everybody's different, hair is different, so what may not work for me may work for someone else. So, not disparaging the company in any kind of way. I just want to give you my honest thoughts and opinion for my hair. And as a consumer, no, I would not be repurchasing the ingredients, the misspelling, the fact that the instructions of this whole thing scared me, all these cautions on here. I did not experience any irritation with this product uh, at all. Um, it was softening, but it wasn't nothing spectacular about this product that I couldn't get with another conditioner. I really could have gotten um, a better deep conditioning with one of my conditioners from a different brand, but that's just my take on this product. They do offer other varieties of this product in the store, but I am not uh, in the least bit intrigued to find out if they work or if they don't work. But again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to comment, subscribe, give it a big thumbs up because it does help my channel. Don't forget to check out my Amazon store, purchase products, browse around, see what you like. And the link for my Amazon store is in the description box below, and I'll also put it in the comment section as well. It's just Janine. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.